This is code.org, and let's talk about the mod operator. This can be a bit confusing, so I'm going to be daring an attempt to use paint to explain the math-ish that's happening here. So their example was 11 over 2. And the mod operator looks like a percent sign because, hint, it's a percent sign. Boom, boom. So what they're saying here is 11 over yikes 2, right? So 11 mod 2. What happens with that is you want to think division. So how many times does 2 go into 11? Well, 2 goes into 11 5 times, right? So 5 times with 1 left over because 2 times 5 is 10. Yikes. And then 11 minus 10 is 1. So 11 mod 2 or modulo 2, the result of that is 1. Now thinking of this, let's say we have a 7, okay? And it's going to be mod 2. Okay, well, how many times does 2 go into 7? Hmm, well, 3 times, because 2 times 3, right? 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So the result of this would also be 1. The remainder is what mod is. And it's used throughout computer science. All right. So here's how it works. Yep, we did that. Read the code below. Look for the, at the first example. Put a council log. It looks like they already included that statement with your answer after each mod statement. Run to check your answers. Cool. All right. So 5 divided by 2. Well, 5. How many times does 2 go into 5? 2 goes into 5. Oh, I think they gave us an example. Yes, they did. 2 goes into 5. 2 times. The leftover is 1. Awesome. So now let's throw, it looks like they have an empty console log just to uh, provide us with a blank. And of course, um, well, we can leave this blank, but they always bother me, so I'll drag it off. Of course, they start us off with a trickier one. And so 2 mod 3. Well, how many times does 3 go into 2? Not at all, right? That's not possible. 3 does not go into 2. It's a fraction. So what's the remainder? If 3 goes into 2 0 times, 3 times 0 is 0. And the remainder then is 2. I'm going to kill the quotes, which it sometimes fights you on. Let me highlight them all. There we are. And so the remainder of that would be 2. Next up here we got, let me go ahead and put the council log in all of these. And I'm just going to drag this white space out. Not required, but it bugs me. All right. That's my students know. Uh, all right. So how many times does 2 go into 10? Uh, well, 5 times. And that goes in evenly, right? 5 times 2 is shockingly 10. So the remainder then, okay, now let's look at this. 4, how many times does 4 go into 2? Well, 4 goes into 2 0 times, right? So since it goes in 0 times, 4 times 0 is 0. So what's the remainder? 2. How many times does 1, ah, oh, they did all tricky ones. How many times does 1 go into 7? Well, 7 times, 1 times 7 is 7. And so the remainder there, right, is 0. And I think we got them. Oh, let's go ahead and hit run and see. And it should pop up down here is what you're going to be looking for. So the first number is what I put in, right? Uh, the first number is their result. So the first answer is one. And then we put in one blank line. Second answer is two. We put in two. Good job. Zero and zero. Two and two and zero and zero. Got them all. Awesome. Onward.